Hello everyone, I'm Swapnil Mane from Hardware Commerce. Welcome to this session on Storefront UI. Today we are going to look into the how you can uh, use Storefront UI in your view app. If you are new to Storefront UI, we will recommend you to have a look at our previous video on introduction to Storefront UI. So let's get started. So we have created a simple view app using view CLI. And in this view app, we are going to use a storefront UI. So let's first see the documentation for the installation of a storefront UI. So when you go to the docs storefront UI.io, you will find the installation section in the getting started. It's really very simple to install the storefront UI. You can install it via npm or yarn. Uh, it's a very simple command you can run to install the storefront UI in your view app. Before installation, let me share a quick note with you. A storefront UI works out of the box with Nuxt, Vue CLI 2 and 3. But if you are using a custom project, then you need a following webpack loaders, which are CSS loader greater than 1.0.1, SCSS loader, SACSS loader, and view loader. So let's get started. I'm using npm for installing the uh, storefront UI in my view app. So this basically install the uh, view storefront UI package and its dependency. Let's first for a few minutes till it installing the dependency. Great. So our storefront UI is uh, installed. So now you can see the package.json. Here you can see uh, we are having a dependency of a storefront UI. And let's, uh, uh, so this is pretty much simple installation, right? And now uh, we include the uh, storefront UI style of CSS. It's recommended to have it in main.js. So I'm copying this and making this entry in. So basically, uh, there are some global styles which comes in the package of a storefront UI. So it's recommended to uh, include this in main.js file. So it's, it's available everywhere in the application. So before starting with using a storefront UI component, let me show you the app structure. We have added a route SF UI using SF UI demo component, uh, which is defined in view. So it's a view SF UI demo component. It's just we have shown currently a single statement. Uh, here we will add the storefront UI component. So let's start our application. Wait. So let's visit our application. This is home page uh, having a simple link for our storefront UI demo component. So when we click on it, that component is rendered. So let's look into the how we can add a storefront UI component. I'm using the heading component for the demo purpose. It's very simple. Uh, first, we need to import. It is from uh, storefront UI. Then we have to define it. We are going to use this component. And then uh, we can simply use it. Here we can see uh, there are multiple properties available like class, level, title, heading. You can uh, get more details on it here. What are the different props available for this particular component? And let's initialize some uh, default value using the data. That's it. Simple, right? So let's go back and see our demo app so this is our heading component it is rendering it is sure it is uh, it's simple right means so we have simply imported the heading component and make us entry in the component section and then simply use it and this is how the uh, there are some props which is available in the in SF heading component we have just simply passed it you can use any of the component defined in the storefront UI. 
let me show quickly demonstrate you how we can use the error component we uh, the process simple simply import the component from a storefront ui so we have you uh, we have imported sf arrow make a entry in the component this is there and simply use it in the template so i'm adding it here if you go to the our ui you can see this is rendering so with this simple step you can use any of the component defined in the storefront ui in the next video we are going to discuss how we can use the atoms and the molecules uh, or, or maybe the organisms to build our own component means you can use the storefront ui components and build your own components so we are going to discuss this in the next video thanks so much for watching see you in the next video